Hello, Mioni here and welcome back to another Cash Shop update video for today, the 10th of April 2024. Please excuse my voice, I woke up like this with essentially my voice missing. Thank you so much for the emergency room visitation earlier this week for basically taking away my health. So the new items then, there are one new item and the Final Fantasy XIV online store, and that is the Crystarium Prodigies Attire. If we click on this, you'll see we'll go through the prices in just a second. This is a multi-gendered four-piece set, not a one-piece, as some people uh, believed it to be. It is designed to look like Alphano Levier from the Shadowbringers expansion. Every expansion the Scions of the Seventh Dawn do get upgrades to their gear, visually or otherwise, and of course this is reflective of the Shadowbringers expansion with Alphano's attire here. The four-piece consists of a top, fingerless gloves, hose and thigh boots, as you can see. They've actually taken special attention to show you the pictures of those individual items as extras, which is really, really nice. I'm glad they listened to feedback. And uh, yeah, we're going to look at those in the game in just a second. This does not come with a hairstyle. That's the first thing. And this is also undiable gear. First of all then, so in my country, in Great Britain, it is £7.44. pence. In US dollars, that is 12 United States dollars. In Europe, that will cost you 9 euros. And of course, in Japanese yen, that's 1,320 yen. Specifically then, I my first impressions, I'm not a massive fan of uh, designed items around characters, but because this is a four-piece, I feel more inclined to have a look. So let's go into the game and look at this together. So this is a four-piece, undiable glamour set, equipable at level one and above. Okay, here we are in the Grand Cosmos on Explorer mode because we can. And this is my first impressions of the outfit. I was quite a fan of the upgrades to the Sign of the Seventh Dawn's outfits, especially Alphano and Alice's in Shadowbringers. I especially liked that over the shoulder scarf there and some of the armor on one side. It's the rare occasion where I actually like asymmetric chess pieces. The problem with this outfit then is the fact that we're not going to be able to dye it. The other problem, of course, is uh, that, uh, yeah, obviously if you want to look like Alphano, this is perfect. But let's see if we can take things off and have a look at them separately. So just like they did on the website, this then is what it looks like just with the gloves and the legs. In fact, let's turn off horrible depth of field. We don't like that effect whilst we're looking at things. So yeah, the actual arms could be multi-purpose. It's not something that necessarily screams alpha no when you look at it. The only problem is no dye options means you're going to have to want those particular colors and that particular texture. Uh, of course, with Dawn Trail upgrading a load of things in the future, it's a bit of copium, but we can hope that things look completely different and more usable uh, in the future. The actual legs then looking pretty good. I never knew that Alphano had that belt buckle, actually, and a red siding to, to the underneath. I thought that was just on Alice's outfit, but it turns out there's a touch of red underneath the main chest piece on the legs from Alphano, which is really interesting. Not a bad pair of legs, honestly, but I think the real attention grabber for this will be the boots. So let's put those back on. So yeah, the boots are probably the thing I like the most, as is typically the case with many of these outfits, especially uh, outfits designed after NPCs. It's typically the ones I use the most from sets. Is it worth it just for the boots? That's going to be subjective to you and what you think about these. There are plenty of boots in the game that look like this. One of my pet hates about boots like this is that this indentation doesn't have any extra detail. We have this beautiful sort of embossed sort of pattern, but there's no inner details between that. The only extra details we have are these buckles. It, we'll call them the knee buckles. I'm not sure what they would be called. Fasteners, I'm not sure, and on the feet. So if you're looking for a pure sort of, well, it's not even pure white, is it? That's the, that's the problem with undiable pieces. Matching that's going to be difficult. It's kind of between 
like a snow white and a pure white is kind of like a mudded gray in this light it looks pretty good in the grand cosmos but it certainly doesn't look this bright outside even though the lighting is the same but yeah it's it's more of a sort of muddied pearl i think would be the fairest way of describing it of course square enix are going to make a killing out of me today because i've decided to purchase this on a male character as well just to give you the idea of any comparisons there might be so on my male character there are, doesn't seem to be that many differences other than perhaps the stretching of materials you're more likely to see most differences in terms of the fabric and how much it covers if you were to play a Rogadin or a Lalafell, Great Extremes, Evil Direction. However, I think they've done a fairly decent job in adapting it to both of the extreme sort of directions. In terms of the full set then, it looks pretty good, obviously, on a male character since it was designed to look good on, obviously, a humanoid character. Yeah, honestly, not too bad. It's a shame that the Sirens of the Seventh Dawn, many of the outfits that contain helms, we don't really have like this. It would be nice to see some more bandanas and headwear, and I would have liked to have seen the hairstyle included with multiple outfits, so you could have chosen uh, any of the Alphano or Alice styled attires to get a hairstyle, rather than specific ones. I think that would have been better value for money. But anyway, it's not too bad, is it? Not too bad at all. And if you want to look like Alphano Levier, there's worse ways of doing it, I suppose. I still think, though, if you're looking for an outfit to actually customize, just based purely off of customization, this is not the direction that I would go. There's plenty of items in the game that will give you a similar, if not better, effect than this. Just to bear in mind, whilst the new outfit does not come with his hairstyle, there is actually the brand new Alphano's attire that does come with his hairstyle, but is multi-gendered, and so is Alice's on Alice's brand new Alice attire as well. So if you wanted to get that instead, that comes with a hairstyle, it is a slight increase of money. It's called the brand new Alphano or brand new Alice's attire, also on the cash shop, so just bear that in mind. But of course, if we were to purchase it from the other outfit, this is what it would look like paired with the actual new outfit today so yeah it's pretty cool and of course um that hairstyle does have some uh, obviously different root options and highlights the outfit then which is the subject of today's video it's not too bad it's not too bad i value a four piece much more than i would a single piece i really do not like it when characters have a one piece outfit i think that it just uh, detracts away from the idea behind glamour creation I know it's supposed to be the echo of that character you're supposed to be designed in that appearance of, but there's much more I can do with this and its individual parts than I could do with something like the Omega or Gaia attire, for example. Anyway, let me know what you think about this, if you plan to pick up Alphano's attire today, and I'll see you all next time.